We're going to have businesses that used to be in New Hampshire that are now in Mexico come back to New Hampshire and you can tell them to go themselves. Now, in all of my years of reporting, that is the first time I have ever seen a presidential candidate make use of the F word <laughs> while campaigning. Trump, indeed, is unique. And he joins us from his New York City headquarters. Did you write that yourself? No, I didn't use the word. I never said the word, Bill. I don't know who told you I, I would never use the word. I didn't say the word. I said, you can tell them to go themselves. But I the, never the said little, the word. The lips kind of moved in the... Uh, well, they might have. No, I didn't might say have. the word. I wouldn't do that. Even oh. I, hey, Bill, even I wouldn't do that, okay? No, I never said the word. But you just walk right up to the line. You know, you just always push it. You're always going there and, and all of that. Okay, be that as it may. Well, you uh, know, but we make our point. You we do. We make our point. There's I mean, no doubt you make your point. Sometimes you have to make a point. Okay. And, uh, you know, the other way it doesn't work out so well. I'm sure you were glued to the set uh, this afternoon. President Obama announced the uh, economy was improving. Jobs uh, are 4.9 percent on unemployment. Should we give the president credit for that? Look, you can't give credit. It, it, the, the economy is having the worst. Uh, it, it's, it's so bad. Hey, Bill, every time I go out, I have packed auditoriums, packed rooms, because people don't have jobs. They don't have the but jobs they want. But it's 4.9 percent unemployment. Time, it's, it's a phony number, Bill. The number is 25% and probably higher than that. People are looking for jobs. They can't find them. They keep looking. They give up, and now they're statistically employed. Uh, Bill, they, the economy is doing terribly. Look at even now the stock market. Finally, that was the one part of the economy, and finally that's crashing. These are phony numbers put up by politicians to make them look good. When you hear 5% and 4.9%, it's not the right number. Plus, as you probably have heard, the jobs are bad jobs. They're really low-level jobs and bad jobs. I've seen 15 different reports on that. But the fact is, if you look around for a job for months and months, you can't get it. You just sort of go home and forget about it. You are considered employed. There are millions of people out there, Bill, that can't get jobs. All right. That's why I'm filling up these stadiums. So if you're, not, uh, Bill, you're not going to... If you had a real fight... And you and Bernie Sanders have the real... same... You and Bernie Sanders have the same thing. On a, and we got Bowling and Rivera coming up. I'm going to ask him about that. Both the uh, left and the right uh, are saying the economy is rigged. Okay, so you're not going to give President Obama any credit for the 4.9. Now... I believe that one of the biggest uh, problems America has is the national debt, yet it's rarely talked about on the stump. Most people don't understand it, don't care about it. Can you tell us tonight why a $19 trillion debt is important to the folks? Well, it's really $21 trillion because the new budget deal lifts it up by at least $2 trillion. So the national debt in a very short period of time is going to be $21 trillion. We are mortgaging our future. We're mortgaging our children's future. But what does that mean? How is that going to come country. back to hurt the kids? How? Well, we're, because we are going to have to pay this money back at some point, and at some point it's going to be impossible. You know, I've always heard and read a lot on it and understand it and went to Wharton and all of that stuff. I've always heard that $24 trillion, we become Greece. And to a certain extent, we're a large scale, we're getting to be a large scale version of Greece. We never do cutting, we never do anything. You know, I saw a statistic the other day. The drug, we're the biggest purchaser of drugs in the world. Drugs to make people better for Medicare, et cetera, et cetera. We buy drugs. We spend the same practically as if you're going to go buy drugs on a counter, from a counter, we spend the same. We could have saved $300 billion a year if we did the right job with the purchasing just of drugs. Yeah, this negotiated is one a better the deal because we is, buy in bulk. But here, here's the thing. You know why? But, Bill, do you know why this is? Because the drug companies have all the politicians taken care yeah, of. the lobbyists. They're all supporting all these politicians. But right. they're not supporting me because I'm self-funding, okay? Now, but how, how are you going to bring down dollars. the debt, though? I mean, look. With all of the uh, Social Security payments, with all of the uh, Medicare payments, with all of the social welfare uh, programs that we have, how is any human being going to bring down the debt? I mean, what, 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 what are you going to do? Okay, Bill, are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. So we have, a country, right, we have a country with no growth. We have no growth. You know, last quarter, did you see that? Practically zero growth. 
which is almost unheard of. When China does seven percent, they're practically in a depression. We do nothing because our jobs right, so are you're leaving. Gonna, you're going to grow it, but how leaving. will that bring down the debt? No, no. I'll tell you how it's going to bring it back because we're going to create a dynamic economy again. We're going to bring the jobs back from China, from Mexico, but from Japan, still owe the money. from Vietnam. No, you still we owe, owe the, the money, money bill, but so you bring it back. So yeah. how are you going to get the debt yeah. down? Because the country is going to start growing and will be up to four and even five percent. And when we do that, we pay it back so easily. How? It's easy to pay it back. How? Our, how? Because essentially, if you look at the country like a profit-making corporation or a losing corporation, right now we're a losing corporation. We're going to make it a profit-making okay, corporation. Okay, but then you're going to have to raise taxes beautiful heart. to get more money in to pay down that debt. The problem we have is our taxes are so high that nobody oh, can. Still, everybody's right. choking. I don't know how Bill, you're going to. Even if Pfizer, you gin the Pfizer. economy up. How does that pay down $21 trillion? You have to take Bill, money the from the corporations all, and people to do it. Bill, the politicians have caused this problem, just so you understand. All right, I, all right? I understand. They've that. caused this problem over years. Now, listen, the politicians have caused this problem. We're going to make our country dynamic again. All right. Now, companies, big companies like Pfizer, are leaving. They're, they're going to make it worse. They're leaving many, it's called corporate inversion. Many companies are leaving because the taxes are right. so high. But if you we cut the to taxes, taxes that again, raise taxes. the revenue to pay down a debt then is leaves. But okay, we'll tell that that's for another day. No, no, no. You have confirmed but the, co the country will be more dynamic. I got it. It'll I... be a dynamic. We're going to we are going to create a dynamic economy where real jobs are going to be pouring into the country, <sighs> and we'll have a country that's sustainable. Okay, It'll but, work, but still, Bill. The debt is still on the books. Now, you say you're going uh, to you're you're be in the next... But you're going to slowly pay down the oh, debt. Okay. You're going to be in the next debate. You've confirmed that? You get a Fox yes, News debate yeah, in, in Detroit? You're you showing up? Yes. Okay, you want to confirm tonight that I was right, yeah. telling you you should have gone to the debate uh, in Iowa? You want to confirm that, too? No, you weren't right. I don't oh. know what impact that had. I, I wasn't right. right. Hey, Bill, Bill. But why Bill. are you going to this Bill. one, then? Flip a coin. Flip a coin. Let, a let coin. me just tell you. I raised six million dollars. Right, we could have done that on veterans. any day. So you're, you're no, going to the one in Detroit. Right. You didn't go to the one in Iowa. Night. Can't you give me a little credit I was that a I was right? Can't you give me a little credit? Well, that I'll I was give you right. a little credit, but not too much. Okay, but, but I was right. I raised right. six you million gone to dollars Iowa. for the veterans. Uh, okay, well, the but veterans we could have done that any other day. And you gave Rubio and Cruz a lot more airtime. Yeah, I gave them more airtime. That's true. They had more airtime. Right. And, yeah. I agree with that. Right. But you know what? The veterans like Trump, so I'm okay with that. I think it may be sort of <laughs> okay. even. The veterans love me. Hey, remember this. Six million dollars I raised during that debate in one hour, actually, not two hours. And all came in in one hour. Pretty good. All right. Maybe we could have a telephone to pay down a debt, you know. <laughs> well, that's all another right. way of doing it. That's probably not a bad idea. Good luck on Tuesday. We always appreciate you coming Thank on you. the program. We know you're busy. and take. You take the fire, and we appreciate it.